when do you turn to your dad and be like, is this cool? Or do you ever do that? We have a big cross section of the type of music we like, but our approaches are so different that um, I don't really reach out to him for advice on my stuff. But I think that's probably been a mistake throughout my life. You know, he's a great person, first and foremost. You know, he's been a really great example of just trying to be a good person and putting art out into the world that is meant to make you feel good about yourself and positive and coming from like, <clears throat> he's always searching for pure moments. I grew up always thinking improvisation was really normal and kind of stepping on stage and like not having a plan and seeing where the music would take you. That seemed like a normal part of being a musician growing up. And you know, the, once I started getting into music and being in bands and being in shows, <clears throat> that's definitely not always the case. A lot of people, they need to rehearse and so they know every note exactly and they really want to play it that way where he's he lives on the edge to find those moments a huge thing i got from him you know growing up having him walk around the house making just noises and doing scales and vocal runs and experimenting it's probably why i started beatboxing for me that ended up being like trying to do the beats on the radio um, you know i thought that was normal i thought everyone kind of did that <laughs> But, you know, he's just got a musical spirit that's more about, you know, music's fun. Music's something you can do all the time. If, if the human voice is your main instrument, like, you can do that whenever you want, even if you're just humming in your head. And then <clears throat> a lot of the musicians I was just casually around as a kid, I grew up to realize are some of the best to ever do it. My experience was being at shows in the backstage hang which as you get older, from a musician's point of view, that's kind of what it's all about, you know? Working on your craft, coming up with your own sound, interacting with people that have their own world inside their head where you can join forces and it brings things out of you that you didn't know were there. It makes you nervous to even like share a stage with them, but then you get up there and it's like, it's all good. <laughs> or, you know, you get your ass kicked and it makes you go home and practice. Do you think you not sharing shit with your dad it has something to do with being like, I want to show my Totally. We're coming from such different approaches to music. I have a hard time playing stuff for him because growing up listening to hip hop when it'd be like a two bar loop or like really simplistic music, like he was always so not into that because he's into like straight chops musicianship. Whereas like, I really don't have great chops at anything besides putting everything all together. So I usually don't ever play him anything in the process. Like my last album, he heard it when it was totally done. And similar to this one. I don't know, I have kind of a mental block about it because I'm just like, the, ch the type of chops that I grew up appreciating was like producer chops. You know, how do you make these drums sound crazy? Is how like making a crazy pocket where even if it's like kind of a, a loop vibe, it's like kind of stretching your idea of like what rhythm is. That makes me want to like present something that feels like com completely me that represents where I'm at and how I approach music. But then also, yeah, with my dad saying that we don't necessarily approach music the same way, I'd rather show him like a totally finished project that he wouldn't know how I made it. <laughs> my dad's just like a total genius vocalist and musician, but you know, part of me likes that like he would have no idea how to work any of my gear <laughs> or how to like do stuff that I do. But all that kind of stuff is kind of stupid at the end of the day. I mean, not necessarily stupid, but um, it's part of the process. I think part of getting older and more mature as an, a musician and artist is just being open to learn from everybody and grow and not be nervous to like show someone where you're at so that they can give you some knowledge to help you get better, which I've been really bad at my whole life. Like I rarely ask people to show me like how they do stuff which in a way has been cool to build a foundation of always kind of having my own approach to how I make stuff happen. But now 
And for a while, you know, I've been frustrated by not having like crazy chops on keys or vocals. And instead of like really reaching out and trying to get better from other people, I try to figure it out on my own. Life's probably too short to try to do it that way forever. So yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at right now.